Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Saif and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use MessageBird to grow your business. So let's get started. First of all you can create your account from here or you can just log in your account if you already have one. And here I will just log in to app.messagebird.com platform. And now this is how your message bird will look like. So basically here on the left menu, you will find many options that you can use, starting with home where you can find like insights or key metrics of your own profile. You can also uh, access on channels from here. However, I'm just going to leave this to the, another time in the tutorial because we will just do it, but later. Next, you can also grow your customers from here. So you have more than an option. You can import your contacts using CSV files or you can just here as you see or you can just create a sign up form or you can add your contacts manually like this by filling all this information. Next you can also create a content which will help you to find contacts which will help you to grow your own audience so basically you can create your content using messages or using emails here I would prefer to create my my content using emails so here you can uh, create your first project so you can click on this and now let's say uh, our new project is YouTube subscription and it's in English, so I will press on create project to proceed with my own email content. Now I will go to the editor to uh, customize my own email template. And this is your window. This is where you can uh, edit or create your own email. So here in the subject line, I will just write. Once I click on here, a pop-up menu on the right will appear. So I will write subject line is YouTube subscription and I will write in the details free subscription to our channel. Now you want to add elements to your own designer so you can just collapse this and here you will find many elements so in order to add an edit and a header you can click on this and then you will find many elements to add so if you want to add a logo you will drag it and drop to header like this and it will appear here so you can edit it but i will leave it after i edit or after i add all of my required boxes so in body you will also find many things to add so here i will just add No, I will leave this. Okay, this is nice. Actually, I will uh, copy and paste an image and column here. So this will look like this. And finally, I will add in my footer just a divider line. So this is basically how my email template will look like. So in order to make any edit, I just click on this and here you can find that on the right its characteristics is open so if I want to change the image I would just click on this and I will click on the image then I will pick up my logo from my own device and apply changes that's it you can also control how your color looks like you can control the logo alignment here you can control the background color also the module background color which is this frame and now if you want to edit on your text you can click on it and here you will see its characteristics so let's say last chance then i will click on this and go here and write 50 100 percent subscription discount for subscription And I can add, add an image 
but after clicking on this which is relevant to my content so i can just for example if i am starting a new channel of in oil and gas i can add an image in oil and gas and i can wait for it to load then i will apply changes and it will appear in here like this i can also click on this button to uh, edit its background color i can also click here and change its text and the link where it will uh, transfer me when I click on it as a user and once I'm done I can click on publish here and I can describe my template version like YouTube subscription and click on publish now it's being published I will just give it a couple of seconds and we will be all set Now you can see that it has loaded my project. Here you can see how it looks like. So uh, if you are comfortable with it, you can just go up with it. Or if you are not, you can go with clone and edit. If you want to change your mind or delete this, you can just click on here. And here you will find that delete is not available. So be this is because that you need to deactivate this project first by going to versions then click on this three dots and choose to deactivate once you do this you will be able to delete the project now next step is to engage with with customers this is done by campaigns by creating your campaign you can use this content that you have just created in email and you can use these campaigns to uh, send your email to many recipients Next is the Analyze Performance, which represents your insights and key metrics. Next is the Enable Channels. Here you can use an email channel, install email, and you can add your domain name, for example, like YouTube. Oil and Gas. dot com for example and you can add the channel name that i will leave it like this or i will call it free subscription and go ahead sorry this is not available i need to insert a domain so let's say pap which is the name of the company dot com and I will continue installation now. And here your, ch your channel has been updated. You can now send emails, add your own uh, recipients and um, text them whenever you want. You can just do this using this channel or you can just delete it from here. Now next you can go to automate work which will help you to um, make a workflow whenever you are dealing with your own customers or subscribers. So if I clicked on new flow from here, and for example, I said that I want to run a flow when a contact is added to my list. So here I will choose the trigger. For example, when a, content, a contact is created, this is my trigger. And once this happens, something will uh, will be a result the next action I will not uh, test this data I will just skip this here you can add a new action after this trigger happens for example let's say I will for example add contacts to a specific group or create or update a contact by identifier i can choose any of these options once i choose this option it will ask me for more information like the description of the group the name and once i am done i can just um, 
make this all the flow or I can add more actions or more steps. So you can also change the view into tree view, which will show you like a flow chart, all your own steps. So once you are done here, you can also go to support customers if you face any problems so that they will help you to troubleshoot it. Here you can find your notifications and anything which is related to your account. And here you can control your own settings. And this is how easy you can use our website for today, which is MessageBird. So that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.